Okay, good morning. Something a little bit different on the channel today. Uh, as many of you know, I've got a model railway called Misty Dale, and today I'm going to build for the very first time a Metcalf card construction kit. Uh, I've never made one of these before, but I have looked at the videos online that they post, and I think I've got everything I need in order to make this kit. Uh, first of all, I've got the kit here, cutting board, Stanley knife, a metal ruler, precision glue, water and paints, and my mobile phone just in case I need a little bit more uh, help along the way. So first of all I'm going to open up the kit and see what I've got and let's see what it is. Now I've got the Metcalf double O gauge terrace front shops. I think you can see about see that it's probably going to be reversed but never mind. Um, so let's open it see exactly what we've got in the kit. So then let's take all the stuff we need out of here. Nothing left in the box so I'm just going to put the box to one side and in here we've got the various parts of the kit which I'll have to cut out. So there's one sheet, there's another sheet, uh, there's the roof tiles by the look of things, uh, some pavement, uh, these are the windows which I've seen how to do, uh, there is some structure boards they make the structure rigid and there's some more windows here oops that actually may be the glazing I'll have a look at that in a moment as I said I've never made one of these kits before so I don't really know those are the windows um, here's another part of the kit I'll have to cut out first this is another rigid board section to make them rigid There we go, and there's other parts of the kit which also have various you can have various different things on your chip on your on your buildings just in case you want to have a little bit different. Um, and there is a instruction leaflet included and yet another instruction kit. Uh, instruction leaflet included even and some more rigid boards. To make sure that the kit doesn't fall apart when you're making it or indeed when it's on the layout. So the first things first and what I've been told is to cut out all the individual parts. Some of these you're better off um, making a note of what they're called on the back. I'm just open that up. So the board's plain on the back and you won't see this when it's being uh, displayed so they recommend you put if there's a code number you write the code number on it once you've cut it all out so you'll know that you know, you're not missing anything. The other thing to note uh, that they, they say on their videos is quite an obvious one. Once you finish cutting everything out, don't discard these pieces of paper. You never know if you've missed something uh, and that can all quite often happen. So if you've put it in the recycling uh, or screwed it up and then all of a sudden you realise you haven't got a part and all of a sudden you find it's on the, there but you've screwed it up and it's, uh, it's going to look pretty bad on your kit. When you've built it. So this is going to not be a five hour video, I'm actually going to speed things up quite a lot as I'm going through this um, and hopefully at the end of it you'll see a finished product. Um, wish me luck and uh, here we go. Thank you. 
Okay, here's a quick look of what we've achieved. Um, this is my little builder's yard, probably not the neatest builder's yard in the world, but uh, it will do. Um, so all the components here cut out for building one, that's the first building. There's two buildings in the kit. So that's all my components needed for that little part. Strengtheners up the top there. Different types of doors, just in case I want to change my mind. There's uh, the shop fronts, uh, the pavement fronts, the actual shop itself, and uh, that's the floor base, I believe, the main base. And all these little components you can mix and match to whatever you fancy. Just focusing, I'm sorry. So now I'm going to uh, look through the instructions again and uh, try and build up these houses. Uh, let's see how well we do. If you're wondering what I've been doing, uh, basically I've been cutting out the glazing parts um, and on, they recommend that you cut them out, you have to cut each one out individually along the white lines and this is what happens when you, once you've finished it, let me just uh, focus in on that a little bit. So you get all these glazing parts, they're all numbered up and then there's little score lines down each one and then when you're fitting them on, when it tells you to fit them on, that's how you're going to fit them. Now it has asked me in the instructions but these ones, WE1s, they're the ones we fit first, and I'll be doing that in just a moment. But they're not too time consuming, just got to be a little bit careful when you're obviously you're cutting them that you don't cut in the wrong place, and you only cut down the white lines. So uh, that's what I've been doing, in case you've been wondering what I'm doing, because you can't really see too much around here. And uh, I'll continue now with the video. Thank you. 
Okay, so here's the finished model. It's taken me just over four hours to complete. Obviously, it's my first time of doing it. I'll be quicker next time, but I'm very happy with the result. Um, it's very well detailed. And once you know what you're doing, I can imagine it'd be quite easy to get these done within about two and a half hours. Most of the time I'm spent with taking and cutting out as well. That takes about an hour to cut everything out properly and make sure it's laid out properly. As you can see, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit, they're quite, I'm not quite pleased with the way it looks. And on the layout, um, I think it will look even better. You can put as many of these dormers up as you want to and there's even bay windows you can put into these areas. I won't be doing it on these two models but I've got some terraced housing which matches this so I'll be doing it uh, on those. 
Um, my aim now is to do the next one and then when I do the terraced houses I'll probably try and do a proper tutorial video on how to make these once I've got used of these how to do in it. And here we are, it's in situ sort of on the layout just to give me an idea of how it's going to fit into this nice corner area. Uh, this is an area just outside of uh, Foxborough Junction and uh, basically I'm going to put both the shops in here and then put some chain fencing across the side there. There's enough uh, gauge clearance for these locomotives, I've already tried that. And that makes make like a little, a nice little shopping sort of area. Many thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.